for the serious gamer. You know, I really don't know why I keep creating these. Yes, they're very effective. Um, camp, NGT on outskirts, and World at War. However, it is a troller's delight. And I know you guys love to hate these. Uh, but again, I'll say it as I said before in m many other instances. Most of these techniques or whatever, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to show you, you know, a place that you can hunker down the entire game. Because that's kind of boring. Um and not you know not really effective it it, it can be effective uh, as you're gonna see in here I mean I think my team I think my team loses this but you'll see that I actually have the highest number of kills and highest I believe highest kill death ratio uh, for my team everyone else sucks because they don't know what they're doing they're yes they're you know running and gunning uh, but they're running and dying because they don't know what they're doing so if you don't know what you're doing don't go out there and just do stupid things uh, you know, watch some high kill death ratio videos. <laughs> That's a little self plug. Yeah. But anyway, camping is effective in certain instances. Okay. Um, search and destroy predominantly. When you're camping a bomb, when you're camping uh, uh, the bomb target or whatever, knowing how to camp effectively will get you more wins, will get you more kills. For those of you that are horrible at camping, don't know how to position themselves, don't know how to set up traps for the enemy, that's when you're going to actually suffer and uh, end up getting killed a lot and losing games. So take it as a, as a skill and learn learn to, ki to camp effectively if you love search and destroy. If you don't, then you know what, maybe you don't want to play deathmatch or camp or whatever, learn to camp in deathmatch, because if you're just going to run a gun, it's probably a little bit more fun than sitting in some corner. However... For a challenge, you could always set up, say, okay, we're going to take this particular area of the map and we're going to see how long we can hold it down before the enemy uh, can actually use their brain and figure out how to flush us out. Because sometimes I do that. I'm like, you know what? I can hold this place down and maybe get 10, 15 kills and see what, if, see if I can break that record. Because sooner or later, they're going to just start pounding that place. They're going to be throwing every frag, every stun. They're going to be blasting it. And it's actually kind of funny because you know they're getting so angry. And you know what? If you're bored, sometimes that's actually fun. And you will get a crap load of kills. If you think you're not going to get action camping, believe me, you will. The action will come to you. And it's usually out of rage. Don't do it all the time, though, because you know what? It's not a lot of fun when you make people rage in the game. I'm not saying to cause chaos and stuff like that. But, you know, for the most part, once in a while, who cares? There's enough people that ruin the game. This isn't ruining the game. It's just a different way of playing it. So if for those of you that are going to troll and say, well, you're ruining the game and you're causing rage and blah, blah, blah. No, it's just a completely different way to play the game. It's an effective strategy. It's only you knuckleheads out there that don't know how to check corners properly that end up getting killed. You run around. I mean, if, if you're in a warlike situation, right, which is what this simulates. This isn't real life. I get that. Thanks for the instructions. But if you're in a warlike situation, you don't just go running out in the middle of nowhere thinking you're friggin John Rambo for those of you that don't know uh, John Rambo is the name of Rambo who's you know Sylvester Stallone if you've ever seen any of those movies if you haven't eh, you should watch them they're classics classic crazy war movies uh, cheesy but classics anyway so this is a smart way to do it I mean this is what you're gonna do if you have a lot of resistance if they're coming to you why why expose yourself why expose yourself, kill them, and then move on. Camp an area, get some kills, and then move on. Don't stay there the entire time, but you're definitely going to get some kills. And you don't have to stay back in one particular area. I don't really care. I don't care about the trollers and the haters. You don't like it. You don't like it because usually someone like me is going to own your ass in the game, regardless as to how fast you are with the trigger finger. Kind of makes me laugh when they whine and complain about that. I usually just mute them. And there you go. I got dogs. Who let the dogs out? I know that's a little bit cheesy. Maybe I should edit that out. Ah, whatever. You guys are going to hate on me anyway for uh, putting, this <laughs> putting this video out anyway, so I might as well be cheese ball. Cheese ball about it. And usually when I'm camping, um, I do like to have an assault rifle. And my camping assault rifle for this one, look at that, 10 kill streak. Camping. That's camptastic. That's a camptastic kill streak. Anyway, my uh, I use the M1A1 carbine, and uh, I absolutely love that weapon. It's great because you want to be able to nail these people. Once you start killing someone from a camping spot, and they see that you're camping there, they're gonna start running at you. And as long as you have good sight lines, for like this, like this 
place, for instance, you're going to actually be able to nail them as they're heading towards you. Because they're just going to be running like idiots. Running and gunning because, ah, I'm super fast. 1v1 me. Well, I don't need to 1v1 you. Because uh, you died every single time. And if I did 1v1 you, you'd probably kick my ass. Because I'm not the fastest uh, run and gunner. Which is why I create strategies like the uh, high kill death ratio. Which is a combination of camp kill move. So... This is hardcore camping, but this is not the camping that everyone whines about. If you're getting confused and you're thinking, oh, well, you're promoting camping. I'm not promoting camping as in sitting in some corner somewhere and just staying there. You can see I'm moving around. I'm staying at a particular inst uh, location or a building and I'm holding the building down. I mean, if you think about it this way, what do you do in, um, what is it called? Headquarters. You've got to hold down a friggin' location, right? That is camping to the max. But most of you meatballs and knuckleheads that friggin' troll about this don't get that. You have no concept. So that's what this is. If you're thinking about why, why would someone camp? Why would someone... The camping I show, like I said, is camping of a location. When you defend uh, an HQ point, you're defending a location. Anyway, regardless, I will continue to show camping spots. I will always do it. Um, I don't care about the trolls. I'll, you know, I'll also show run and gunning, and we also have, you know, the agency, which is almost pure run and gunning, uh, you know, cowboy style. Um, however, you know, there's certain certain game types, regardless as to the game as well, where camping is very effective, but um, there's always going to be that group of individuals that are too stupid to understand it. And I can't, you know what, I can't, I can't make excuses not to actually show it just because a few knuckleheads are, you know, dumbasses and just don't get it. They just, <laughs> they can't get it. I can't make people smart. So anyway, but trust me. You learn to camp properly. It is going to help you. It's going to make you more effective. Um, even take someone like C. Fisher uh, on our NGT Elite. He, at one point, was a pure run and gunner. And if you ask him, I prom and I promise you, he's a very, very good run and gunner. But if, I, if you ask him uh, about whether or not he camps more now and whether or not it helps him, I promise you that he will confirm that camping does actually help him and actually gives him more kills and just basically reduces the number of deaths that he has and he does it because and he does it more and more now because it works that's the bottom line he doesn't camp in one location he keeps moving oh i think there there's uh, you can see near the end there anyway um trust me if you learn to camp it will help your gaming you don't have to do it all the time but just know how to do it that's the, the main point know how to do it so when you're playing in a, in a particular game or you're in a situation when you need to actually defend or protect yourself in a location you will know how to do it very effectively and the only way to do that is through experience and that's how you're going to get it so practice it take a location defend it and then when you're ready to play something like search or headquarters put it into effect try it out trust me it's going to help you a lot i'm going to retire from next gen tactics thanks for watching and you'll notice that my team lost it for me not me they were running gunning